Hi everyone and welcome back to the Multiple Careers Podcast. This is episode number 10 and today in this episode let us talk about what the things are that you can do right now in order to change your career next year in 2022. This is a question that I myself have been asking myself a lot lately. And the reason is because we are approaching the end of the year. There are only a couple more weeks left. And I'm thinking about how can I make the best use of my time in order to make 2022 a great year um, so that I can actually accomplish all the things, all the goals that I set out to achieve. And I know that this is a question that is on a lot of people's minds. And normally what most people would do is come up with a bunch of New Year's resolution. So this could be a long list of five, seven or ten New Year's resolution things that they want to achieve in the new year. And usually they come up with this while talking with friends and then just asking each other for fun. What are your New Year's resolution? And then that's when they actually actually start thinking about ABC okay this is what I want to do in the next year this is what I would ideally like to accomplish in the next year but what happens for many people is that the new year comes it's January 1st and the first week goes by the first month goes by and then they realize that hmm I knew I had all these plans all these new year's resolutions but Uh, up until now I actually haven't started to work on any of them nothing has really really changed and that is when the disappointment sinks in that is when a lot of people get disappointed with themselves and they feel disillusioned and they feel that okay it's no use setting new year's resolution anymore because every year it's the same I have these 10 goals that I said I wanted to accomplish but then when the new year comes i actually i actually don't do anything and i actually achieve none of them and what happens in the end is that i just carry over all of these goals these five eight or ten goals from year to year so um what might happen to you and what has also happened to me before is that i had one of one one goal that i've carried over over more than five years and i've not started And the cause of that is simply that um, most of us just have too many things on that list. That is one thing. And, And that in turn causes a lack of focus. And what then happens is because you made this promise to yourself that you wanted to achieve this thing, but um, then you, you didn't actually commit to it, you didn't actually achieve it. Over time, you lost trust in yourself and over time, this New Year's resolution thing just becomes a joke. It doesn't carry any importance or significance anymore. It's just the thing that you maybe do for fun, but it never actually works out. So the big question is now, of course, what is the solution to this, right? So let's just say that next year in 2022, your goal is to make a career change. It could be that you want to start a new business, it could be, yeah, you want to become an entrepreneur, for example. You, it could be that you want to start a personal project, make a film, a game, and so on. Or you want to change careers, you want to switch into a different industry, or you want to make a drastic career change where you not only change the industry you work in, but you also change your job function or your role. So as an example, let's just take the most simple career change let's just say let's just take as an example that next year in 2022 your goal is actually to stay in the same role you're still do kind of doing the thing that you're already doing now but you want to move to a different company you want to move to a different company um, which makes better products or services or which has a better working environment or um, pays a higher salary so your 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 intention or your goal could be whatever but let's just say that your goal is that you want to make this move to another company and you've thought about this for several years but you've never acted on it you never really took it seriously and you never took any action and that is the reason why until now it didn't happen and now you're thinking in your head next year it has to be different i don't want to keep 
carrying over this uh this goal carrying over this goal like a bunch of unused vacation days that you carry that you carry over to the next year but you want this to actually happen in 2022 but now here's the problem we're at the end of the year already if you're watching this in early december there are only three plus weeks left so there's not much time there's not a lot that you can do so many people would think at this point let's just let's just chill let's just chill and wait for the next year and then next year after the holidays are holidays are over after christmas and new year's eve is over then let's start thinking about how we want to approach this changing um company thing thing and let's think of a strategy then this is exactly what i would advise you not to do and here's the reason why if you start making changes if you start making your plans next year in 2022 let's say mid of january end of january then you will run a risk that you start the new year on a low note with little or no momentum because ideally what you want to have is that you start the new year already rolling because that will make the whole rest of the year run much easier if you start the beginning of the year and you have no clue what you should do next you have no idea what the next step should be and you are confused and you are scattered then that will be a bad start to the new year what should ideally happen is that at the beginning of the new year you already have a game plan you already know what you need to do to finally make that change that you always wanted to make what you ideally want to do is start the next year the new year on a high note when January 1st comes, you already know exactly what it is that you need to do. You have clarity and you just need to go ahead and do that. And that's pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Everyone knows that, right? But the big question is, why don't people do it? Why don't they just start off the year knowing what they have to do and just do what they want to do, right? It should be simple. And the answer to that is, I believe, is in the way that most people spend the rest the remaining few weeks or months of the previous year usually what most people will do and you can see this all around you just look at your family members and friends what most people will do is that they slow down towards the end of the year they are tired from everything that has been going on that year and they just uh, want to enjoy the holidays enjoy their vacation and um, and party celebrate Christmas and um, New Year's Eve and that is all good I mean everyone should everyone deserves to do that right after working hard you want to you want to rest you want to socialize and hang out with your friends and everything that is all fine but keep in mind that the things that you do in the last weeks of the year will really set the tone for the next year. So although you're enjoying the holidays and um, spending time with friends, keep on doing that. Don't forget that there are still some things that you can do end of this year to change the course of the next year, 2022. So at this point, you might ask me, okay, what is it? What, what is it that I should do now? Let's just go back to the previous example, the simple example um, of wanting to change jobs to a different company. Let's just say that you want to change from the company you're working now to another company and you want that to happen in 2022. What should you do this year? It really depends on how far you are in your process, but let's just assume that you haven't done yet, you haven't done anything yet and you haven't started this process at all. So what should you ideally do now when there are only a few weeks left in December? And the answer is, is this. It's pretty simple as well. Make a plan. Make a very simple plan and don't overthink it. This is the problem that most people have the the obstacle that most people have they start making a plan in their head and then they come upon um, they they encounter an obstacle and then they just stop there and they scrap everything so instead of doing that um, I want you to now get a piece of paper and start writing down your plan just write 
a few very simple steps that you think need to happen before you can accomplish your goals. Let's say just write down three to five steps. For example, the first step, if you want to change companies, could be that um, make a list of all the companies that you are interested in working for. And the next step could be make a list of all the people your network you already have, all the people that are in some way connected to this company, ex-bosses, ex-colleagues, friends, and you can do that by looking up your LinkedIn and tracing tracing all the connections to those companies. And then there are a number of other steps, um, such as um, updating your resume, updating LinkedIn, and so on, that I don't want to go into much detail now. And we don't want to overcomplicate it. That is also very important. So the important thing is just pick three to five steps that you can write down in one sentence on this one piece of paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. The plan can still change next year, but at least, at least for now, you have something to start with. You have something tangible in your hands that will help you to give the confidence for next year. But we're not done here because there is another important thing that you really need to do and start this year which is that you need to start with the first step. It doesn't matter how far you get, you don't necessarily need to complete this step, but you need to start with the first step. So if earlier I mentioned, for example, you want to move to another company, the first step, for example, if you don't have any idea yet what you want to do is to list down all the possible companies that you would rather work for than the company you are at now. And there might be a list of 10 to 20 companies. But if you can only come up with three companies, that's okay. Just do whatever you can and make a start there. So under your first step, um, write down all the companies, um, list down the companies that you can come up with this year. So what does this give you? This gives you a head start and that is so important. It's so important because having this Head start. This very simple and very um, basic plan gives you something concrete that you can start 2022 with. So when January 1st comes, after all the celebrations, after all the hangovers and waking up late, perhaps on January 1st or January 2nd, you're not confused and you're not scattered. You're not asking yourself, Hmm, what should I do this year? Uh, what should I do next? I'm actually confused. I don't know what to do. No, but instead of that, you have this piece of paper that you prepared just a couple of weeks before at the end of this year. And that is something that can give you momentum to start to continue in the next year working on your goals, but it can also help you to to get this feeling that you're starting on a high note. You're not starting from zero, but you're continuing, continuing something that is already kind of rolling. And that will certainly give you a lot of confidence. So if you're watching this in the month of December, then of course it's ideal. Then you still have a couple weeks left to make a small step, to make a tiny bit of progress that will give you a head start for 2022. But now if you're watching this on <laughs> December 30th or let's say January 15th or sometime in 22, 2022 then you might ask me am I too late to the game now do I have to wait till the next year again 2023 then the question is absolutely no I mean the new year the change from the old to the new year based on the calendar system that we are all following in the western world is a good way to help you set milestones but it's not the only way the, the only reason why the new year should have or, or can have some significance is because everyone, many people are celebrating um, New Year's Eve and many people are kind of in the same mood of being hopeful um, about the new year. And you can actually kind of ride on that energy that everyone is experiencing. But if you are already somewhere in the first quarter or in the first half of 2022, then no problem at all. You can set your own start of the new year. So let's say if you're watching this in January, then just establish for yourself that your new year 2022 
will be February 15th. So, so you do not have to align with everyone else's calendar, but the important thing is that you just have to have a start date in mind that in some way has some significance to you that you determine for yourself to be the start of your new year, the start when you will go full speed, where you will work with full dedication and without any doubt on your new goal. Okay, guys, I hope that this was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this and um, whether you've tried this and if this has been helpful to you. Also, let me know in general what your challenges are with changing careers or your career in general. I would really love to know and I might even make a video on that. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and to subscribe and I'll see you again next time.